In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe. And how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned.
Hello and welcome to my new series of Medieval. So, I've had this on my PS... Wow, okay. Um, can I not... Okay, so I have the... Unfortunately, I have the options for my system language, which is, which is Danish. Or, uh, I think that's Russian and Hravatsky, um, Croatian? No, I'm not entirely sure. Well, I can't really, I can't actually make it uh, English. So, um, well, all the spoken language is in English, so it's just text and, well, you can just listen to it either way. Right, so why am I playing this? Well, it was on sale about half a year ago or something like that. And um, I wanted to try something new. So I played the original back in... What would that have been like? 2006, something like that, um, on a PlayStation 2, and, uh, and that was very brief, so I really don't know much about this game, but it looked interesting, and that's basically enough for me to go on. I'm assuming this is more action based than It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Gallomere who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder to the savior of the day, but we know's better. <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Serac and live up to the legend. We hope it as well. Okay. All right. Mm. Oh, I can interact with these. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Can I? Oh, I just have to walk into it. All right. That's good to know. I'm not enjoying that the camera is so close, but that might just be because we are in a tight scrap right now. It has oh, again. is that the same? Yeah, Sir. okay. I was hoping that something, that it would give me some new information. Oh, oh so I can attack <laughs> by pulling my own arm off. All right. Throwing daggers? Hmm. Those are probably the tutorials I'm getting. That looks like a sword. Yep, figured out how to jump. And it even told me afterwards, but yeah. Looks 
So triangle is my way of switching weapons. Okay. Let's see. Some weapons Some contain weapons powers weapons. and abilities beyond oh. the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Okay. Ooh, well, that's a charge attack. So basically spinning around and... I probably should have read these in order, but... During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, so I can choose between... Mm. Not a fan of that the uh, shield has... Um... I'm assuming that's hit points. Well, at least my Curious doesn't have that, so that's always something. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Ah, so it basically told me that the books here are literally the starting basics. Any treasure that you find will be added to your coin total. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. Okay, so that's the shop function. Um... There's a lot of vibration there. Oh! Oh, the rune was the key! Ah, Fancy that! You will find life bottles throughout Galamir. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. Okay. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. I just did that. <laughs> Without knowing, actually. All right. Well, I... Do I have a way of blocking or is that just automatically? Uh, well, perhaps we shall find out. Track down Zerok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galomir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. Okay, look for slime. Should be doable. All right. Let, well, let's get into this. Uh, I, hmm. I don't know how. Oh, that looks like a big map. Okay. Ah, so I can go in those directions. Okay. And then I can go here. The graveyard. Chances are we'll find basic undead here. Yeah, it even says that the zombies are helpless. But they they too have just woke it up. That's what it says, more or less. Alright. 
So it also came with some other stuff, including a comic, a soundtrack, and some an art book. Right, okay. So we have 300 life and... Ah, okay, the shields are there. So I'm hoping it's kind of automatic. That hand looks... Oh, the hand is not a threat? Okay, well... That zombie out is, however. Oi! Oi! Hmm. Not a big fan of that. Well, I suppose it is a ranged weapon, so that's a start. Still doesn't mean it's great, but, uh, well, everything has to start somewhere. Okay. So I did take a hit, but, uh, eh, what is it? Welcome back to your beloved Galomir. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living, and they want to do it over your dead body. Well, that was not really informative. I more or less knew that. So... Oh, there you are. Hello, boys! Okay, so the sword is much more powerful. Albeit, that means I have to let them get close and... Ah, eh, well. Okay. The camera is not too bad. Hmm. Oh, so a, a fully powered up attack like that will do it. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, those can also be destroyed. Oh well, then I ha kind of have to go back and see if uh, some of them shouldn't have any treasures in them. They're destructible. There's a chance that some of them will contain treasures. Can I even block? Ooh, a camera zoom. See, those things would have been useful to know about beforehand. But, well, the books didn't teach me that, so... Uh, can I destroy this? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, zombies. Oh, one headstone. Okay, so far. Oh, that small light following you around is a wisp. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs, but when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. He will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks. But he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. Ah! And I don't have to control it. I think that's probably the most, the biggest part to take away from this. Hmm. I am taking a few hits from these zombies. But I do have a fair amount of health to spare. Should probably consider... Oh, that seems important. Should probably consider getting to either learn to block or dodge. So that heals me. Okay. That probably the book will probably tell me. Don't let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. 
Ah, so it tells you how many enemies you need to slay. Chaos rune. Yeah, I don't have that. It's probably fair to assume that it's... Hmm. This looks enterable, but well, I guess not. Was that a twofer? Yes, it was! Alright, well, I don't have... Never-ending. I'm assuming that's gonna be a reoccurring theme, that ammo is probably going to get sparse. Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. Oh yeah, I already figured out about that, so... Actually, by accident. Now, I would really like to learn how to block. Oh! Why didn't you just tell me that it was R1? That would have been very easy to do. Uh, perhaps it actually did tell me when I was down in the crypt and that was the one book that I didn't read. Oh. Hello, boys! No, you don't. Oh. Remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Hmm. Ah, so this sword has a fairly limited reach. Okay, not a problem. Aha! I thought it was destructible, but... Hmm. Well, there's probably something in there, then. Oh. Could you please not... If I get the first strike and don't allow them to charge, I actually do have the upper hand. Hmm. Haha, <laughs> upper hand, get it? Because there are multiple hands floating about. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a soul, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it. And you will be worthy of visiting the sacred oh. hall of heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. Ah, uh, okay, so that's the way to get special weapons. Okay. And that is done by killing of enemies. Okay. Treasure? Uh... Okay, so we have to hit the statue. Well, technically I could go this way, but let's see. On these skull gates, the master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. 
So that's the first boss fight, right. Well... Mm. Oh. Well, that was not what I... Can you... Ah, yes, of course. So the camera isn't the fastest, but that can be changed. If needed. Ah, so it's not just a standing block. I can actually move. Whoa! Oh, so the flask automatically gives me a full heal. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I can get up from there if I were to get down. Oh well. What is that? Is that a mushroom or s Oh, so it's not a 100% for the entire... Ah! Come back here! Oh. I might want to put the camera up a bit. Might. Ooh! Uh, no. So those are shops. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, I was, thought I had to jump this. Hmm. That's uh, an interesting looking zombie. But it wasn't any more special than that. Okay. So is there anything of interest here? Not particularly, no. Hmm. Oh, so this is where I were. Right, well, uh, is the door closed? No, no it isn't. Okay, that's fine. Then I will... It's a very goofy character, but... Oh. Okay. Uh, let's try it. It's got a good range. Not a lot of damage though, but uh... So it's actually more efficient to use the power attack because it takes more than three regular shots to get them um, to get them down. Oh. 
probably should block a bit more. Ah well, that guy completely missed, so... Does it... No, okay. So there's no penalty to walking in water! Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Hmm. I don't like how little... Oh, so that just... Let's see. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> okay, so basically don't walk into the deep waters. <clears throat> Hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> So let's see what kind of weapon it is that we are acquiring, and that will fit well for our first episode. Ooh. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity <coughs> feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. How about you? What do you do? Oh, that's a shop. Uh, sure. Hmm. Now, do you think there's treasure hidden here? I don't, but... You never know. Oh, why was there a sudden change there? <coughs> ah, so the chalice has come up here. Okay, let's see. To pay homage to the heroes, stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. Okay, I know about that, but, well, there could be... Uh. Only when you are truly worthy as a hero will you be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall. When you have paid homage to all of the heroes in the lower hall, the ghostly stairs will then become solid. Okay, so they are barring me from actually looting. Gotcha. Well, okay. Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Ganymere. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardak, a clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. <laughs> Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. 
Oh, I thought it was a bigger weapon, but I'm certainly not complaining. Right. Uh, yes. So, how... Let me just check the pause menus to see how it is with... I think this game autosaves. But... Oh. So now we can go... That's probably not the mausoleum. Let's see. This is the burial mound. Okay. Um. Yes. Then I have to return with the the skeleton key, which I get from the mausoleum, which is after this. Okay. So now we have to. Any new undead or... So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> No, okay. So, oh yeah, it starts at every, every level. Right, well that has been the first episode of Medieval. Next time we will pursue more undead and see where we are taken from there. But until then, take Yeah.